Hi. Okay, well, um, I'm here at the top of the Col de Jolly in uh, the French Alps. And the reason I'm here is because today I've, uh, I've done a, a recce of the demands of a race, a triathlon race that I'm going to be doing uh, at the end of July in about three weeks' time. And the reason I'm telling you this is because um, a couple of months ago I wrote an article for a triathlon magazine, uh, which uh, it's somewhere on my website if you want to have a look at it, called The Sports Scientist View. And what I put there is um, basically what I would not want to start a racing season without understanding. And the thing I, uh, I specified is that I wouldn't want to start the season without understanding the, the physiological demands of the main race that I wanted to target that year. And that essentially is, is what I'm trying to give you now as an example. So let's take, for example, the uh, Alpe d'Huez Triathlon, the long course. Very tough event. 2.2k swim at uh, about 800 meters altitude, which, which you feel uh, when you're in the water. 115 kilometers uh, cycle, uh, which takes in three coals and uh, has a lot of climbing involved. And then at the end of that, you finish with, uh, with Alpe d'Huez, the, the, the mountain, and you, you run a half marathon at the top. Now, that sounds pretty tough, but you need to know precisely what that means. And in conjunction with, uh, with a partner of mine, uh, cyclingpowermodels.com, what we do is we performance model a route like that. So if, you, if, you're, a, if you're a pretty big guy, I mean, take, take me for example, uh, I'm, I weigh over 80 kilograms. Even if, even if I'm under sort of 9% body fat, it's still a big lump you're dragging around an event like that. So you need to know precisely what the demands are going to be. And what we do with, with CyclingPowerModels.com is we performance model uh, an event, say for example like the Alpe Long Course Triathlon. And from that we know the altitude uh, that you will be uh, having to face, the meters of elevation that we'll be having to climb. Uh, on the bike, we know exactly. We'll we'll want to know precisely the sort of metabolic demands in terms of the fuel needs uh, we'll be looking at, and in conjunction with using uh, an SRM power meter, we'll we'll obviously be able to train very precisely um, in terms of wattages on each of the main mountains, each of the main coals, um, and that <clears throat> that enables us to recommend really precise training regimes uh, when you're when you're not here actually up in the alps practicing the 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 conditions um, <clears throat> so to summarize we performance model in order so that we can understand the meters of climbing involved we can understand the wattages you the individual will need to be climbing those mountains at to optimally finish the run we will understand the food intake in terms of quantity and actually what you're taking in, in so that you don't get any gastrointestinal problems because on, on an event which might take you upwards of eight hours that could well be a factor and you also need to get out and, and do it I mean here I am at the top of the, the Col du Jolly uh, it's 2,000 meters today I have uh, I've cycled a, a, about a 90k route but with my SRM power meter I've made sure that I cycled 25% more uh, in terms of meters of elevation than I will encounter during the Alpe d'Huez Triathlon. And then when I arrive up here, this is 2,000 meters altitude, and I've just run 40 minutes off the bike um, just to feel how that is. So that running after you've done four or five hours and lots of climbing on the bike and then running at altitude feels different. It doesn't feel like when you're running in Hyde Park. And, um, and I know what it feels like, and you have to get out and do that. So uh, essentially... If you have a look at the article I wrote, it's on my website under a sports scientist view. If you then have a look at some of the stuff I've written there about, uh, and, and in other places on my website about performance modeling uh, with cycling power models, and then if you want to do something like this, you really weigh up precisely what it is you are going to encounter, and you, you look at the science behind it, and then train accordingly, and then the last thing, get out and do it um, we can uh, we can arrange that and we can bring you here uh, I was I was here last week uh, with a client of mine who's a cyclist and we were essentially preparing him on on the on the climbs uh, the, the Col de Rosalind the uh, Signal de Bizan the Col de Pre these sort of places which are very tough climbs but um, 
that's what he was needing to do for his events and for his uh, his attack preparation. So uh, that's all from me. Thank you. Bye.